Hey, TV fans. Welcome to Tori Talks TV. I'm Tori. And I'm Dr. S. On this episode, we'll be discussing WandaVision episode seven called Breaking the Fourth Wall. And them breaking the fourth wall made for probably, I think, the funniest episode so far. I like it too, because we got to see like another side of them, like kind of like their own little like motivation, their own commentary on the, I always love it when shows do that. It reminds me of like The Office, you know, when they would have their little like little interview clips, mockumentary style. Yes, the, it rem- reminded me of The Office and Modern Family, definitely. Mm-hmm. And yes. I'm super impressed with Elizabeth Olsen and Paul Bettany's uh, comic timing and delivery. Yeah, definitely. Very funny. I like that their theme song sounded a lot like The Office. <laughs> and it yeah. was all Wanda, 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 Wanda. Um, <laughs> that was really funny. But okay, so let's talk about this episode how it got a little bit messy because the broadcast signal for the sitcom was kind of on the fritz Mm -hmm. yes and it made everything kind of change like the twins um the milk Mm -hmm. um, the biggest tip like right when she opened the fridge and i saw that there was almond milk i was like almond milk didn't become a thing till like two years ago so that doesn't belong there and then boom i was right Exactly. And then with that milk, you remember the milk carton with the missing child on the back, which they, they obviously mm-hmm. started a long time ago. I was trying to see if we're supposed to know who that kid is, because, you know, as I don't know if you guys remember this or not, but mm-hmm. I don't know anything about MCU. Um, So I'm always trying to look for little nuggets or little things that are supposed to help us or that we're supposed to know. So it, the kid looked kind of blurry. So maybe we're not supposed to know who it is. But if we are, let us know. Yeah, I, did, I didn't know if we were supposed to. I just thought it was maybe like a reference to the 80s when they used to do that. But yeah, maybe. Maybe we just don't know. Yeah. Um, and then, okay, we finally get to see who Darcy ends up being because she was sucked into this world with all the circus people. And it turns out she's an escape artist. Why not? Yeah. Totally. And you know what's so funny? Like her personality wasn't even that different from like her regular personality. All she could do is like bust chains open instead. <laughs> Yes. And she was also very funny as well. Yes. Yes. And then there's good old vision and she doesn't remember vision. So Mm -hmm. he has to kind of snap her out of it, which I was like, why did it take you so long to snap her out of it? Like, why are you just do that? Yeah. Just do that with everyone. Start with that. Yeah, exactly. All right. So they're really funny together. The two of them, all Mm -hmm. the obstacles they have to face. And then she's (laughs) kind of like telling him his whole life story. Yes. It It was a good excuse to like stay still and talk for a while because really there was nothing around. She could have gone onto the dirt. That's true. Yeah. But he needed to be filled in. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, All right. So we learn about this Operation Cataract from Mm -hmm. Hayward and his whole MO is to revive Vision and then Mm -hmm. use him as a weapon. So it's, it's official, right? Hayward is a bad guy. He is a bad guy. We know that now. We knew that we didn't like him because he doesn't like any of the people that we like, right? Right. But now we know why, because he's trying to, like you said, weaponize vision. That's terrible. Okay, so all along, they've been having these commercials, which have been, some of them a little morbid, but this commercial was funny, but I don't know if I'm supposed to be laughing, but I was. It was like funny and also like very sad because it was so true. Exactly. So it's about this pill, Nexus, which I did read that Nexus is a place. It's in a swamp in New Orleans and somebody's guarding it. That's the extent of my lo- my knowledge for Nexus. So, okay. If you guys want to add something, comment below. <laughs> <laughs> but I I, ha- I wrote it down because it's my favorite commercial so far. So um, let me just read. It, I'll just refresh your memory. The side yeah. effects made me laugh hysterically. So they include feeling your feelings, confronting your truth, seizing your destiny, and possibly more depression. <laughs> it's not exactly very far what, Yes, exactly. Very truthful. Yes. And then their tagline is Nexus, because the world doesn't revolve around you. Or does it? Or does it? Exactly. <laughs> oh my God. Depends should... on who you're asking. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I don't know if I should be laughing, but I did. Okay. <laughs> now let's talk about Monica. So she gets through this hex force field how yes so i do not know how well by being a badass that's all i can say so like her rover space rover thing that's like like made out of i don't know what but can't make it through right it can't make it through 
But then she's just like, you know what? I'm just going to go through myself. And she gets through. Yeah. It was cool. I know. And just what has she had? Does she have some kind of power? I mean, do we know that she has superpowers? Is this kind of confirming well, it? I think in the future, like, like from the comics and stuff, she's going to have superpowers or be a superhero. But I don't think we know. Well, you and I definitely don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but I in my opinion she must have some power if she's able to bust through the hex that barrier and that crazy space rover wasn't able to because they were able to send like things through before but that yeah. thing couldn't get through but then Monica can get through it's all right? very interesting and then her eyes yeah. glowing blue oh yeah and then as she's going through the thing like you see these like different kind of like stages of her like mm -hmm. you see kind of her transformation okay so now is the standoff between monica and wanda which is always very exciting when you know two superheroes get together yes have like a square off mm -hmm. yes and okay so monica is obviously trying to help wanda she's on her side she's trying to warn her mm -hmm. and i don't understand the resistance from wanda but is that because wanda's not controlling it well, yeah, Wanda's pushing back a little too much for my liking. I was really annoyed with her. I was like, come on, Wanda. She's give her a second to explain. Like, put your red globes away. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> yeah. But when she kind of like pushes her and then Monica lands on her on the ground within that superhero pose, I was like, that's pretty awesome. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. I was just like, oh, superhero pose. And so yeah, so we obviously see that she's got like crazy powers right and like when her eyes turn blue oh it's it's so cool so and then remember like so when her eyes turn blue she kind of sees like the whole world like in code right like the way that it's probably like is in like reality kind mm -hmm. of like the picture behind me like the blurry stuff but then when her eyes turn human she sees like the constructed reality that supposedly wanda has made right exactly and then let's just throw in Agnes here, who just inserts herself <laughs> and takes Wanda away, which for a second I thought, oh, wow, she's really looking out for Wanda. Yeah. So was I wrong. <laughs> because obviously she ends up in her basement in this like creepy, glowing, I don't know, weird reality. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, right? I it seems like a dungeon. Yeah. But I don't know. Maybe this is something we're supposed to know too. I, yeah, I don't know. Is that, does that same space appear in the movies? I have no idea, but it did look very out of place. Yeah, right? It just didn't <laughs> seem like the same world. But this is where the big reveal is that Agnes is, in fact, Agatha Harkness, which I know fans were speculating about. You nailed it. And then she gets her own theme song and intro. <laughs> Agatha all along. <laughs> oh my gosh, it was brilliant. All the, yes. the many faces and... Um, the levels Catherine Hahn who plays her is brilliant in this role yes yes oh my gosh the themes that whole theme song was amazing it was like delightful yes it was right <laughs> yes and then you know it ends on her and we think it's done but thanks to my brother warning me there is a <laughs> mid-credit clip of Monica opening the doors to the basement and then Pietro randomly behind her says Snooper's gonna snoop that's kind of weird <laughs> Oh, that threw me off yeah he's a strange one i don't get him yeah and then like he's actually there because agatha put him there so my question now at the end of this episode is like what's her deal like what's what's in it for her what's her motivation and what's her relationship to hayward is there one like what like we know what he wants now but what does agatha want like what's her purpose Especially and why did Wanda thinks she had control of this whole thing if she doesn't. Yeah, especially because if I'm reading this correctly, it's the very little research I did, I thought that Agatha Harkness was kind of like the mentor to Wanda. So mm. what happened? Um, you know, it, aren't you supposed to look out for them? And then like, you know, kind of what you said, what is her motivation mm -hmm. for doing all this? And is she in on it with Hayward? I don't know. Yeah, that is interesting. I mean, she has been acting like she's been on Wanda's side this whole time so yeah. yeah I don't even know at this point but is she now like Wanda her prisoner down there in the basement no, along with everybody oh. else right oh my gosh there's only what two more episodes and Vision has to arrive at the house if he's ever going to get there oh my gosh and what happened to the twins <laughs> right oh my gosh I don't know one more little thing I need to 
see if this is a thing. Tell me if this is a thing. The mailman. <laughs> we have seen him several times in different decades, and he comes out in the most random times. Is he somebody? And Monica gave him the eye, like like a side glance or some type of thing when he walked by with like a huge dolly full of packages. Like who orders that much stuff? Yeah. Like that's a lot to go to one house, you know, unless he's like going up and down the block with them. But yeah, I, I thought she was going to go after him or something. I don't know. I have a feeling mm -hmm. there's more to the mailman, <laughs> the, you know, <laughs> watch it's probably absolutely nothing i don't know let us know what you thought of this episode and please comment below we appreciate the help everybody's been so nice and patient with yes. us please keep it coming um and then if you could we would really appreciate if you'd like and subscribe and then we will see you next time thank you so much for watching bye-bye